and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. In this episode, I want to talk to you a little bit about Sketchfab. Now, I'll just turn myself around and show you the world that I'm in. This is a pretty impressive Minecraft build. And, uh, and I want to show you how you can take some of your amazing builds and you can actually put them onto a website. The website in question is called Sketchfab and rather than talking to you about it from within Minecraft, I'm going to jump into Sketchfab and show you all about it. This is Sketchfab. It's an online website and uh, you can actually see uh, and look around. Look at this. I can actually grab hold of this model here. Look, I'm w w you know, moving it about inside of a web browser. It's pretty amazing. If we scroll down as well, we can kind of see a range of other kind of models too. And if we click on them, we'll open them up and we can do that too within a web browser. Not only web browser, but also your uh, iPhone. And you can even get some Google Cardboard and kind of look at them in virtual reality. It's very, very cool. And it's really cool as well because uh, I've been wanting to use it and, and have used it a little bit uh, to convert Minecraft maps into 3D objects and then host those 3D objects within Sketchfab itself. Now recently, they actually had a competition and uh, I discovered about the competition a little bit late. I was traveling around the United States of America, um, but uh, so I wasn't able to kind of put, put, it, put myself in for the competition. But what I found really amazing about the competition was that they asked you to create a story. So here's kind of some of the, uh, some of the participants of the Minecraft mystery final. Uh, so let's go into this one over here. I just wanna show you very quickly how it all works. So the 3D model is loading up just in here and you can kind of see, you can actually embed it, you can share it, you can like it uh, and it's free to kind of sign up for Sketchfab as well. Okay, here, here's the interesting part. So here is our 3D model uh, and it doesn't look like Minecraft but let's, let's zoom in. I'm just using the back of my mouse and now we can see, yes, it does actually look like Minecraft. And I can click and drag around this area as well. Uh, so it's kind of fully 3D uh, and yeah, it's pretty amazing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll out a little bit. Uh, not too far, not too far. I'm gonna go back in a little bit as well. Now we can see we've actually got numbers in here as well. So now we can actually have annotations. So I'm gonna go and select an annotation from the below, and we can see down here that the camera slides into position, and it says uh, Lord Block Hat. It's Lord Block's hat. Someone stained it, and we can kind of see some stains on it as well. So basically, we can actually tell stories, and this is what really excited me. We can tell stories using Minecraft and using Sketchfab's annotations. Now, at the moment, the annotations contain text, but in the future, I think they're gonna be containing uh, pictures and all sorts of other interesting kind of things as well. So let's go through here. The actual competition was, uh, uh, you have to solve a mystery by answering these two questions. What type of stain is it and who stained the Lord Block hat? Okay, we've got three competition winners. The first one is called Boat Murderer, uh, and it's by Huntsmouse. Uh, and if we read about this model on the right-hand side, it says, my final entry for the Minecraft Mystery Com Community Contest, the island of Boat Murderer is a peaceful paradise during the sunny days and its dangerous beauty during the stormy weather. It is full of talented people who come here to pursue their artistic nature. Blah, blah, blah. It looks amazing though and, now, and look at the light look at the light so not only that but we've got a kind of a bit of soft focus going on there seems to be some lighting effects within the kind of character as well it, it turns your minecraft builds into something very very special now i'm actually moving this around with my mouse and dragging it around too of course you could probably look down here we can view it in vr it is in hd as well uh, and we can make it full screen if i make it full screen the fans on my little laptop are going to go absolutely mental so i'm not going to but let's go and look at these annotations here. So as you can see, it flips around. It says, number one, stormy weather. According to local townsfolk, during weather like this, the ghostly fisherman appears. Okay, so we're just going to skip through them. Uh, I would like you to have a little kind of close look through them yourself. Have a little look at them. They are amazing. Each one of the winners is incredible. There's a bottle there. If we go down there, we, I just love the way it all zips around as well. There's a light. And I like the fact that actually that light is all kind of blurry as well. Um, we're going to go down here. Ghostly fisherman. Oh, he's got ghostly eyes. Look at his weird eyes. Yeah. There's a hand. Is he throwing something into the water? And there's the water of that. There's an empty box in there. So I wonder what was in the empty box. Maybe maybe we'll find out. There's some more bottles as well. As well. Um, elegant pants and shoes. Well, it is ghostly fisherman. Why is he wearing that? And now we actually disappear under the water. This is incredible. And doesn't that look? It doesn't even look like Minecraft anymore. It looks more like an illustration. It is amazing. A red. Spinal elephant, 
Okay, uh, naval mines, which I didn't even notice the first time. Now we're underwater, and that was so clever because I didn't actually see it when we first did it. So do have a look at these kind of that, this one, Hunt's Mouse. The um, all the uh, the links will be in the description below. So I'm going to have a look at the new one as well, the next one, which is called the Emperor's Stolen Jewel. Here we go. Now again, these almost don't look like Minecraft. So let's, I'm just going to zoom in first of all and find out what is going on. So let's zoom. I'm zooming out there. Quick, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. And as we zoom in, we can actually see some of that amazing detail. This is a huge build. Huge. Um, that is amazing. Okay, let's go for the annotation. So I'm going to, I'm going to go over here and uh, select my first annotation. Okay, wow. So there's some writing there. So this is a long time ago. There was a grand kingdom, and they mined many resources and they had many treasures. And the emperor, mostly pride treasure, was in the grand jewel, and the kingdom was designed to protect it at all cost. Roger that. What's it say over here? The, uh, my goal for, of this project was to use the unique uh, Sketchfab viewing perspective and give a 3D pop up book experience. That is so clever, too. So it's amazing what, what kind of different things you can do with. Um, with Minecraft itself, just as, as, as a build material, as a sort of build thing, and then it converting it into Sketchfab to making an online experience. So your audience doesn't necessarily even have to have Minecraft. Now this is very exciting for me because I work with museums quite a lot, and uh, it would be really, really cool to do something as engaging as Minecraft in a museum, uh, but not necessarily for those people who can't actually play it or don't want to play it, or kind of uh, you know they want to they want to see it on their phone, they want to see it uh, while they're in the street, or they, or you want to share it with uh, somebody as well. So one of the things I'm thinking of is actually thinking of um, creating a portfolio. Oh my goodness, look at this! We're actually going inside the build as well. This is amazing. I wanted to zoom into this. This looks. Oh my, my zoom was so so amazing. Uh, <laughs> that is cool. Okay, let's get to the next one. So, do have a play of this one, the, the Emperor's Stolen Jewel. See if you can kind of discover uh, what the Stolen Jewel was. Okay, so that's the second one, the second winner. Uh, I'm going to go and have another look at the last winner now. So, this is, oh my goodness, can I say it? Zabia Sketchfab Minecraft Contest. Hello everyone, today I present to you my entry for the Sketchfab Minecraft Mystery Contest, The Plot, Who Killed Prince, Princess Zabia? Find out in the annotations, using the annotations. And we can kind of, there's even a Planet Minecraft link, uh, which so you can actually download this map too. Now look at this, isn't this amazing? An, an incredible build. If we kind of zoom around a little bit, I'm just sort of floating around. Looks amazing, I've, I've, I've gone behind a wall. That's amazing. I'm going to zoom in a little bit as well. So much detail, so much colour. Let's have a look at the first annotation. I won't ruin the whole surprise for you. You go and play these things yourself. It says here, Spear and a Shield, Ancestor of this Place, were Valiant Knights and Prosperous. Okay. What's our next one? Uh, ashes. Looks like someone's burning a letter here and it's still smoking. Interesting. Okay, so the mystery uh, and the plot thickens a little bit. So you're going to have a look at these three uh, contest winners and also have a look at the others as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also have a look at the others and I'm going to pick out my other two favourite ones too. Okay, here we are with the Minecraft mystery final page and you can kind of see there's a range of different ones down here. Um, I think... I think... Let's have a look at the train. This train looks amazing, and I like the fact because it feels like almost like a very a toyish kind of. Uh, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to click in this one, and uh, see what it says about the mystery or railway. Okay, here we go. Mystery railway. So uh, there's some annotations here. Not a lot of uh, of description over here. It says uploaded with Minecraft and Mineways. And I'll talk to you a little bit about Mineways in a moment because that's the uh, the current way of getting your Minecraft models from Minecraft itself into at Sketchfab, and so you can share it with everybody around the world. This looks amazing. Let's zoom in a little bit as well. It just the build looks great, actually. Okay, let's go to the first annotation here. Uh, train. A train is moving fast. Where it is going? That's a good question. Where is it going? Uh, number four. Sign written on number four. Could it mean something? I I think it does mean something. What does it mean? Oh, we go down there. That's clever. Okay, shattered glass. There seems to be some shat shattered glass. Uh, where could it have come from? Okay, train remains. Interesting. Oh, it's like a ghost train, maybe. Okay. Broken rail. Oh, yeah, that is that is good, actually. <laughs> uh, and red liquid. I wonder what that is. Could it be blood? 
<laughs> an alternative dimension. Can you spot the differences? Uh, oh, <laughs> that is that is quite cool. Okay, and last one, the overview. So we can kind of see these two things at the same time. So there's our mystery train. It's actually two trains, uh, one in an alternative dimension. Why not? Okay, so I really like that one. That's really interesting. I like the fact that um, you don't see everything first time and the camera angles and the annotation at the same time reveals hidden details, uh, which reminds me of that kind of uh, when you look at, um, when you could kind of uh, objects in a museum and stuff like that and the museum might uh, put, your, put your eye to a certain area on the thing, which you might not have noticed at the beginning. Let's have a look at another one. This is uh, by Prolithium. Who stole the twisted gem from the Wicked Witch's Den? Uh, this is a Minecraft scene I started for Sketchfab Minecraft contest. Take a look at the build, the clues, and enjoy. I will do. Thank you. Okay, here we go in the witch's den. So I'm going to zoom in first of all, have a look, look around. That looks pretty amazing so far. Anyway, look at this model in the middle. This model in the middle. Okay, <laughs> looks pretty cool. Awesome. Um, okay, let's try. Let's try having a look at our annotations. See where. Where, okay, there's a missing gem. Who stole the twisted gem from the Wicked Witch's Den? It's almost a tongue twister as well. Okay, we're going to zoom down here. An unlit candle. The candle was somehow blown out. Perhaps someone blew it. Uh, blew it out. Yeah, I think so. A scratched eye. It appears an unseen track was implemented in the stone eye. Goodness me. Okay, this is... Actually, this reminds me a little bit of, um, of kind of like these Lara Croft mu uh, puzzles and things like that. Crystal ball. The, st the staff's crystal ball had, not, had, had seen someone walk through it, supposedly a sharp claw and a long muzzle creature entering the den. Okay, this is excellent. Do go and have a look at these two ones as well and the rest of them as well. So this is Sketchfab. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, okay, that's all, that's all very exciting, Adam, but how on earth do I actually get my models from Minecraft into Sketchfab. Well, let's have a little look, shall we? So how do we get our Minecraft creations from Minecraft itself into Sketchfab? So you can kind of share that, uh, share your Minecraft creations with the rest of the world on either a, a, you know, a web browser or on your phone. Well, you're gonna need to use a third party program called Mineways. Now, I have used Mineways before to do 3D printing. So there is and I'm not going to be doing a tutorial in this video. This video is long enough as it is. But you can go to the Sketchfab Help Center, and I'm going to leave this description in the uh, this link in the description below, and you can go and have a read of the tutorial. Uh, it's very very helpful, very very simple. And uh, if you have any other kind of uh, problems with it as well, there is also a Sketchfab forum, and I'm going to be leaving that link in the description below as well. So you can go to the forum and ask questions, or even ask questions in the comments section below and talk to me about that and I'll try and give you links and things like that about if you're having any problems or you'd like more information. I will probably be doing a Mineways tutorial all by itself but I'll do that as a separate video anyway. If you've enjoyed the Minecraft creations in Sketchfab, most of them are all tagged and easily found uh, along here. We can kind of see all sorts of different, oh, apart from the Gyarados over there, we can see as loads and loads of different and amazing builds and you can kind of just click on them like this, bink, like that. And, uh, and this one's called Let It Burn and let that model load up and have a look at kind of other people's works. Most of the works have been tagged on the right hand side they can see uh, when it's been published, you can see uh, who it's been, uh, who's been created by, and you can follow them as well. So there's some amazingly talented artists from all around the world creating amazing content and putting it up online for you to see, and hopefully for you to in be inspired by too. I hope this has been really helpful, uh, and I, I hope you uh, kind of take part in uh, kind of creating your models and putting them online and sharing them broadly. And that's what I think the, the power of Sketchfab is. The annotations I think are gonna be amazing, uh, and, and we've already seen that they actually can actually create stories at the same time as well. Uh, I think one of the things I'm really excited about as well is viewing in VR, so I'm really excited about kind of trying that out home uh, with a VR kit as well. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any problems, comments, suggestions, do leave them in the comments section below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do consider subscribing and I will see you all later. Thanks very much now. Bye-bye.